Hi everyone. In this lecture, we will see what are the available comments and we will perform the basic operations. So, to open SQLite, simply you can do that by typing SQLite 3, then it will open a little CLI or like command line interface with the name SQLite. So, here if you want to list the all available commands, you can use the command something like dot help. So here all the SQLite, SQLite commands will start with dot. Remember this and I am using dot help. So you can see it gave all the available SQLite commands and with the name in the description so it is important to know these commands so we will see what are the important commands so if you see dot databases if you use this command it will list names and files of attached databases and db info dot db info it will show the status information about the current database and we can turn on the echo and also we can turn off by using dot echo and we can use dot exit to exit this program and we can turn on the logs by using dot log and also we can open a file by using dot open followed by file name and dot output we will use dot output to send output to the any file it is something like we are redirecting the output to a particular file and we can exit the program by using the dot quit along with dot exit dot show it is used to see the current values or the current settings so we will see that so if we use dot show it will display all the current settings Currently echo is off and explain off, headers off and output, standard output. So we are not redirecting to any file and stats off. So these are the current settings. And before going and per, uh, before performing any operations, we will do, you know, uh, we will format our output. For now, remember that. In the next lecture, we will see how this is helpful. But for now, just we, we are turning on the header, header on, and also mode. We are going to column mode and also timer on, which means we are turning on the header every time before displaying the output it will display a beautiful header so that it is easy for us to understand what is the data about and also we change the mode to column which means the result or the output will be displayed like a table like rows and columns it is easy to identify the data and also we are turning on the timer for each and every command, at the end of the command, we will see the time. We can, in future, we can see, like, we can track when did we executed this command. So, make sure to change this formatting options. Okay, now that we are good with the formatting, I want to discuss an important concept that is the SQLite master. What is SQLite master? The master table which holds the key information about our database tables. So we will see what is that. Just type dot schema followed by SQLite underscore master. So you will get this output. Here 
we will have table name root page sql and the type is text integer text so remember for now sqlite master it is the master table which holds the key information about our database and before using any commands i want to introduce few few concepts about sqlite that is sqlite is case sensitive which means if you use dot help we got a beautiful output with the you know different different types of commands which are available and with the description if i use help with the caps dot help we got error unknown command or invalid arguments which means this dot help with lower case letters is not equal to dot help with upper case letters which means sqlite is case sensitive and another thing is if you want to comment anything you can use two hyphens like if i want to use dot help followed by some name if you want to write any comments you can write by using two hyphens and then you can write this is my commented statement statement so you can write something like this any of the sqlite statement will start with the keywords something like select or insert or delete etc and before starting anything and we will also see the few statements which are useful they are in sqlite we have and also or clause if you want to combine two conditions we can combine two conditions by using and also by using or clause and we can change the table by using the command alter and if you want to begin any transaction statement we can do that by using the keyword begin